when I think about money and a relationship with money, I think there's a lot of things that come loaded with that conversation. How many of you feel like you could have a healthier relationship with money? Raise your hands and say, oh yeah? Good, and the one person that didn't raise his hand, you're a liar, right? We can all continue to improve that relationship with money and it starts at a very early age. And a lot of thought leaders or a lot of speakers, they might come up and tell you how awesome and how amazing and how cool and how unique and how special they are and all that bullshit. And when I come up and share with you, I'm gonna tell you where I came from, where I started from right? And how we began this journey and how that relationship with money and the dynamic changed over the years. You look at 15 years ago, I was a person that had a car repossessed. Anybody else ever had a car repossessed in the room? Raise your hands before. I didn't understand money, right? I didn't just have one car repossessed at 18 years old, right? I had another car repossessed at 25 years old. I was actually dating my now wife. How many of you think as a woman in the audience, let me test you, right? If you stick with a man when he has a car repossessed, you must really freaking love him. You must have a different kind of love for that person. During the next three days, you're gonna go through a journey. You're gonna go through a journey where the conversation with money changes for you forever. And during, during that journey, we're gonna talk about not only the things that are gonna help you build wealth now. Because how many of you think it's important to build wealth now? Raise your hands. But we're gonna talk about that eighth one of the world compound interest and what's gonna build you wealth down the road, down the future as you continue down the journey. How many of you realize both are very important? Raise your hand, say, oh yeah. Because in America, we have freedom. And I talk about this with the redefined American dream because lots of times we don't know what our freedom is. We don't have a full understanding of how incredible we have this life. So many people in this lifetime don't realize what they deserve. They don't realize what they get in this lifetime. I can't tell you how many of my inner circle members over the years, they get their first deal completed and they get their first deal pin. How often I see it and a tear comes down their eyes because they never received an award before in their own life. Eric Snell, raise your hand, Eric. Eric called me on the phone and he received an award as one of our inner circle members. And it's, I think it was the Legacy Award, is that correct? As one of our inner circle members. And Eric called me on the phone and he said, he said, Dutch, it's the first award I've ever received in my entire life. How many of you think you should be rewarded for the things you do right in life? Raise your hands. Life is so much about journeys. I remember the first time I stepped on a stage and started sharing ever in my life. I had attended some seminars and I'd gotten myself in a position where I was talking with a thought leader. And it actually was a short sale speaker, short sale educator. And he had about 300 people in his audience. And I was speaking with him at lunch. His name was Jeff Collar. And I was telling Jeff, and I said, Jeff, it says if your people could ever get the six inches between their ears right, they could take all the knowledge and all the expertise in real estate that you're sharing with them. And they could take it and they could go and succeed. And Jeff said, that's great, Dutch. How about you share that with my audience? And so never having spoke on stage before, Jeff had me waiting in the back of the room, standing by the doors. And I was watching this guy speak on stage. Probably one of the most entertaining, exhilarating speakers I have ever ever seen in my entire life even to this day and the audience is laughing and they're sitting on the edge of their chairs and while I'm standing there my pants I'm leaning against the door they actually hook on the door jam and as I start to walk away they rip from here down to here right and then I'm supposed to go up and speak and as I'm speaking and I know that my hands were very very cold and I know I was probably a little bit nervous I'm walking back and forth and the first couple rows I know could hear nothing I was talking about because all they could see was my leg and and I'm glad I wore underwear that day. And as I went up to speak and I, and I shared, it was a great experience. Because the things that you've not done before in your life, that now you do in your life, will be the greatest experience and the greatest memories you've ever had in your entire life. 